today we'll be discussing about a very interesting and burning topic that is nothing but oran so oran is really the future why oran is the future that we are going to discuss in today's video before we start the oran let's talk about the oran alliance oran alliance started in 2018 by t mobile and china mobile sorry at&t and china mobile moving forward many operators in the world join this alliance and they are trying to you know explore many other technical aspects of oran okay so we are discussing about the oran architecture we have already discussed about the 5g architecture you can check our video uh, in our channel the 5g uh, architecture and we have also the 4g architecture for now we'll be discussing about the oran architecture so like we are discussing about the oran alliance why oran was started there are many uh, reasons why you know they came up with this kind of idea oran or the open ran open radio access network open radio access network has two main aspects to start this particular alliance one is intelligence and the second is openness openness or open interface so two things constitute to have this idea of open ran throughout the world all the operators and many vendors join this alliance to make it a you know open product for all the operators and all the telecom uh, vendors you know to come up with their own ideas and you know make this thing successful so how oran is going to help us in 5g technology and in future like we discussed the first aspect is openness or the open interface so in the architecture we are going to study all the interfaces okay those are being used in oran alliance and in future in the 5g uh, technology uh, so the same thing will be used secondly the intelligence part with the 5g technology evolving and we have uh, many countries who have already launched the 5g services moving forward when we'll have uh, more traffic in 5g network the uh, network will be complicated and you know the signaling and uh, the interface and many new products will be coming so the network should be able to uh, manage uh, its resources and uh, its traffic its own so moving forward we can experience or we will see the intelligence everywhere in each of the nodes whether it is ran node or any core nodes or any other uh, open node you know so every equipment or every piece of uh, you know hardware is going to be intelligent in 5g network moving forward so open ran that way will be helping for a more advanced network 5g and beyond 5g right in 6g and other advanced communication systems so like open interface and uh, the intelligence is combined together in open ran culture we will now look at the technical aspects and all the different elements of this open ran architecture why we are going to open ran uh, number one reason is uh, there is a lot more scope for small vendors or all the vendors to have their own products like open radio equipments or the remote uh, radio unit or maybe the uh, open du or the bbu or the best band unit they can have their own bbu or own radio uh, units or own uh, you know ran intelligent controllers so all the vendors or any a uh, company who is uh, who wants to create some or help the open run alliance to have their own products in the system or to the telecom industry they can have their own product we are not only going with the proprietary uh, uh, you know products as we are going with the previous generations second thing is we have uh, this uh, third party application interface here in you know 5g also and also in open ran so any third party any company who wants to give services through some 5g application they are also welcome in open ran they can also share their part of innovation to the open ran technology or the alliance so these are some uh, reasons why we are going for open ran or the all all the operators are combined together made this forum or this alliance to have this particular product in future so that everybody will contribute towards the uh, improvement of this particular technology open ran 
now the open radio access network uh, architecture so uh, we will just have a basic look at the uh, main uh, uh, ingredient or the main uh, equipments uh, those are taken into consideration in this particular architecture diagram so one is the service management or the automation and the orchestration framework so that we can understand like a head so this is the main part of the entire uh, uh, you know architecture so wherein we we manage the services the automation part and also the orchestration okay the orchestration framework also lies there other things apart from that is like the nms you know the network management subsystem we can connect to all the equipments in the network through that nms or the nms login apart from that the main important uh, stuff which is added here which is the hat of oran that is uh, a radio intelligent controller ric okay so here it is uh, ric has two parts one is non real time it works in non real time not exactly with the real time so that's why it's called non real time radio intelligent controller and there is another part of radio intelligent controller which is called real time near real time not exactly real time but near real time radio intelligent controller right so this radio intelligent controller means it will be enabled with ais right uh, artificial intelligence and mostly most of the things will be automated uh, with uh, you know oran uh, technology so we have near real time radio intelligent controller here which is connected via a1 interface to the non real time radio intelligent controller okay which uh, is here in this particular block from where we can manage the service management the orchestration and the uh, automation part also now the second interface will be uh, one interface or the zero one interface which is connected to all the elements like i told here also we have the network management subsystem or nms so zero one interface as you can see is connected to non real time radio intelligent controller also it is connected to the ran uh, control plane ran open ran user plane okay and then to, to du also and to the ru or the uh, remote radio unit okay or we can also call the remote rru right so this 01 interface is connected to all the elements and services in the ran intelligent controller then if you see the other side we have also the 01 interface which is connected to the infrastructure management framework okay so here we have the virtual infrastructure manager or the vim okay and it is connected via nfvi network function uh, virtualization uh, here we have other stuffs like peripheral and virtualization layers we have the white box hardware and the uh, infra cots okay so this uh, you know vim and the uh, infrastructure management framework is connected via nfvi to all this uh, you know stuff here apart from this we have also another uh, interface which is called the e2 interface e2 is again connected with various elements in the oran architecture first of all e2 cp or the e2 control plane is connected to open ran cp here from the radio intelligent controller the near real time radio intelligent controller again the e2 up is connected to the open ran user plane same e2 is connected to du also and ru to du and ru okay also e2 is connected to the open e node b or o e node b okay so now another interface which is called f1 interface so we have two different f1 interface actually is the same but with the different uh, functions the user plane and control plane the f1 c and f1 u is connected to open du okay or the open uh, distributed unit so we have uh, oran cu cp and oran du or the open du and then o u e o r u or the open uh, radio unit sometimes we denote them as uh, rru or the remote radio unit and we call them bbu in our network like baseband unit so these are the main interface and there is another interface e1 interface between the open ran 
control plane and user plane that is connected via E1 interface. So these are the main interface uh, in the open RAN and uh, the other elements like we discussed are open RAN uh, control plane and user plane uh, then ODU and ORU okay and then we have the other white box hardware which is connected via NFVI to the uh, virtual infrastructure manager or the uh, infrastructure management framework okay so that is all now let's talk about uh, the uh, protocols involved so the RAN uh, control plane we have the RRC and the PDCP control uh, layers and then uh, the user plane we have the STAP and the PDCPU okay so the control part is here at the control uh, plane and at user plane we have the PDCP user plane layer okay so these are the protocols involved in the higher layers we have the application layer lies in the real uh, near real time radio intelligent controller here we have the application layer and there is another thing which is called a radio network information base so information base means here we can have access to the third party applications we have the radio connection management we have to manage the connections uh, mobility management all the uh, you know ran part uh, or the ran mainly the information part we can find here at the real uh, near real time radio intelligent controller we have also the uh, quality of services management we have interference management and the train models so we have many uh, train models many ai uh, you know uh, things will be coming up in the uh, radio intelligent controller uh, you know uh, element so these are the two aspects of near real time radio intelligent controller application layer and the radio network information base so i think uh, that is all about uh, the open ran or the uh, open uh, radio uh, access network architecture which can be implemented in any network throughout the world especially for the 5G services and in 5G we have this STAP uh, protocol which is new in the uh, user plane area. So that is all about the ORAN. I hope uh, this video is really valuable for you.